The American dream is dead. They say a wall is medieval. Well, so is a wheel. I see the disinfectant by injection inside, almost a cleaning. As you take a shower, the water doesn't come out. So what do you do? You just stand there longer or you take a shower longer? Because my hair, I don't know about you, but it has to be perfect. There's nobody that understands the horror of nuclear better than me. I'm a very stable genius. Hold still, Donnie. Uh, I don't know what I said. Uh, I don't remember. Well, we do. Bing, 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 Rudy bing, 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 Rudy bing, 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 Now, you know Donald Trump is losing his mind over this Lincoln Project ad. And the more he loses his mind with the stupid little things, the more painfully obvious it becomes that he never should have been trusted with the big things. Here, too, the record speaks for itself. One of the great memories of all time. James Webb. I don't remember the names. I don't remember the name. Victor Orban. Did ever, anyone ever hear of him? He's the leader of Turkey. By the way, they never report the crowd on January 6th. You know, Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley is in charge of security. Three years late, he laid his lady. How about that? Did you actually have a one-on-one -on -one with Comey? Then? Not much, not even that I remember. I like Mercedes. We have languages coming into our country. We have nobody that even speaks those languages. They're truly foreign languages. Nobody speaks them. I have a really good memory. Your next wife was a woman by the name of Marla Maples. That's right. Do you recall what years you were married to Ms. Maples? Um. It's called, like, up here, and it's called memory, and it's called other things. So you don't remember saying you have one of the best memories? I, I don't remember that. And Putin, you know, has so little respect for Obama that he's starting to throw around the nuclear war, Terry. You heard that, nuclear. We have to win in November, or we're not going to have Pennsylvania. They'll change the name. And I talked to Putin. A lot. Did you, you ask, ask him that? Did you ask him that? I don't remember that. I, you know, I saw that this morning. I don't remember asking him that question. Does it have a good memory and all that stuff? Like, a great memory. For 20 years, they were fighting ISIS. I defeated ISIS in four weeks. And we did with Obama. We won an election that everyone said couldn't be won. I'm not cognitively. And you know what? When I am, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to be the first people. I know my people, you'll say, all right, Trump, you did a good job. Get the hell out of here. That's it. That is a man who is incapable of avoiding criminal liability, a man who is wholly unfit for office, and, who a, man, and a man who, at the very least, ought to think twice before accusing others of cognitive decline. In less than two years, my administration has accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of our country. America's so true. <laughs> Didn't expect that reaction, but that's okay. You know, I don't know what it is about Republicans and stupid, but they love stupid. I mean, within my lifetime, we had George W. Bush, who was just, you know, one of the good old boys. He never should have been president. You know, Dick Cheney, he was really running things. But then we go from George W. Bush to Donald Trump. You know, who says nuke the hurricanes, I guess to, you know, initially the hurricanes are going counterclockwise. You put a nuclear bomb in there, it'll, you know, make it go clockwise and it'll just dispel the wind. I don't know exactly what it is. Inject yourself with bleach, inject yourself with UV rays. He just says things. I mean, he just goes on stage and rambles. Within his ramblings, he says stuff like, you know, he would rather be electrocuted than eaten by sharks. And then he'll just say stuff like that literally for 25 minutes. And then he'll say like some key phrase like, ah, oh, the Mexicans, ah, oh, they're coming, ah, oh, they're rival, oh. whatever it may be. And then the crowd's like, yeah. But again, I don't know what it is, but Republicans love stupid.